Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our previous videos, we discussed boiling water reactors and pressurized water reactors. In this video, we'll be discussing the Canada Deuterium Uranium Reactor. As we have seen in earlier videos, boiling water and pressurized water reactors come under the category of light water reactors. This means these reactors use normal water as both coolant and a moderator. Although normal water is good for slowing down the fast moving neutrons, it happens to have hydrogen. And hydrogen has the capacity of absorbing one neutron and turn into deuterium. This causes the absorption of neutrons by the water, therefore leaving fewer neutrons for fission. For these reasons, light water reactors use enriched uranium-235 that is fissionable. Enriched uranium has more concentration of fissionable material, thus a greater chance of fission. Alternatively, if we use heavy water, which is just hydrogen of a water molecule replaced with deuterium, then the absorption of neutrons by the water molecules will be less and more neutrons will be available for fission. In such a case, natural uranium can be used as it has a lower concentration of uranium-235. The nuclear reactors that use heavy water as a coolant and moderator are called pressurized heavy water reactors. Can-do reactors are a type of pressurized heavy water reactors. They were first developed in Canada, use heavy water or deuterium as moderator and uranium as fuel. Hence, the name can-do reactors. The operation of CANDU reactor is similar to other types of nuclear reactors. Similar to a pressurized water reactor, a Canada deuterium uranium reactor has two loops, primary and a secondary loop. The primary loop has pressurized heavy water. This heavy water is heated due to the nuclear fission in the reactor core. Since the heavy water is under high pressure, it flows over the fuel rods and can get as hot as 320 degrees Celsius without boiling. Furthermore, a steam generator extracts and transfers the heat from the primary cooling loop to the secondary cooling loop. In the secondary cooling loop, light water is used to generate steam and power the turbine which in turn drives an electric generator. The steam is cooled and returned to the loop by a condenser. Unlike other types of reactors, can-do reactors can use natural uranium as fuel. The fuel in the reactor is arranged in a vessel called calandria. Calandria consists of an assembly of fuel bundles in the form of metal tubes. These tubes are contained in a larger vessel having heavy water. The heavy water acts as a moderator and in an emergency can be used as a heat sink. Well, that's it for the working of the Candu reactor. Now let's see some of its advantages. Firstly, it can be operated without any expensive uranium enrichment facilities. Secondly, fuel replacement can be done without shutting off the reactor in the core. And also, Candu reactors are considered exceptionally safe. But the production of heavy water is very expensive and since natural uranium is having less concentration of uranium-235, more refueling is required. Well, that's all about the Candu reactor. We'll be discussing more such types of reactors in upcoming videos. So stay tuned for more content. And until then, bye!